Getting our first look at the suspected random shooter who targeted homes in a west side neighborhood. And we're also learning that series of shootings might not have been random after prosecutors revealed a key piece of evidence. Coco McAvoy uh, joins us now live and Coco, they claim he had a kill list. Yes, kill lists with names and addresses, making an already scary case even scarier. And Robert McClendon was arrested just this week in this area near Wildemere Street. But police believe he's been firing shots into multiple homes in this neighborhood for months. Case number is 1806 This man, Robert McClendon, is accused of terrorizing Detroit neighborhoods since the summer, shooting into random homes. The windows just started getting shot out. Shot out um, the front of my house. That scary incident on Hazelwood led to McClendon's arrest this week. Police believe he's responsible for over a dozen shootings. When they apprehended him, they uh, found two magazines on him, one to an AR-style rifle, another to a uh, Glock handgun. What they found in his home is even more disturbing. McClendon allegedly had kill lists. Various addresses in the neighborhood were listed. Uh, three addresses that were shot up that night on uh, December 5th were listed inside that, uh, that book. The list suggested McClendon knew exactly who he was targeting in some cases. One of the entries had one of the addresses and then the, uh, the words kill the there. And the judge did not give McClendon a bond at all in this case. He was remanded to the jail. And the good news is that no one has been injured in any of these shootings. Back to you. Uh, any criminal record here before for McClendon, Coco? No, we're told that McClendon does not have a criminal history at all. He had no, no run-ins with the law, of course, until now. Yeah. All right, Coco.